Welcome to Cat's Hill. A crit race here in Northern California that has been going on since 1974. It features a steep, short, punchy hill right in the middle of the course. The hill has an average gradient of 23% and is said to pitch up to 25% in the middle section. It is a short effort of only roughly 10 to 15 seconds, but it's enough to get your legs absolutely burning. This is a really cool race, so let's dive deeper into the history and then how it played out this year. Let's run it. So let's start this story on Nicholson Avenue. That is a street in downtown Los Gatos that racers will do up to 30 times in one race and that has the absolutely brutal climb. For many years, this race has always had a good showing of people come out to watch the cyclists bail themselves up the hill. This year was no different. The hill is the place to be. There is racing going on all day throughout all different categories. It really is a fun event. What are your thoughts on Cat's Hill? I love it. It's fun. It's fast. Not really. It's just fun. I is, love it. Is the hill hard? No. Just ride up it. <laughs> it's like, what? Dude, it's gonna be a fun race off the front the entire time. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Cat's Hill? I'm ready to go up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Is the hill hard? Nah, it's good. The hill's the easy part. Honestly, the downhill, or like right after the hill, that's where you like, you're like, Phew, I went up the hill too fast. So let's talk more about this history of this amazing race. Many big names have come and conquered this race. Even Greg LeMond won back in 1978. Cat'shill.org wrote, the 1978 National Classic Cats Hill truly lived up to its name. It was one of the greatest duels of all time. As national senior champion Wayne Stetna and junior world champion Greg LeMond broke away and tried to drop each other lap after lap. Early in the race, Wayne rolled a tire on Mossel, forcing him to run up the hill, pushing his bike. He then borrowed a bike and chased for three excruciating laps before regaining the field. Not too much longer, Wayne and Greg were at the front of the field and the questions grew in everyone's mind. Could the talented junior beat the accomplished senior? As they rounded the final corner, it was LeMond in the front and to the delight of the crowd, he won the sprint handily. Greg lists this win as one of his most memorable. So today, my fiance Alyssa and I headed out from our home in Santa Rosa to attend the 48th annual Cats Hill Classic in downtown Los Gatos. Unfortunately, it was a bit rainy today, but that didn't stop the event from going on. With the back straight of the course being a screaming downhill where you can hit up to 50 miles an hour, it was going to make for an interesting race. The vibe of the event was amazing as always though today. If you're new to the channel, we rate each race I attend to on five things, including the vibe, but we will dive deeper into that later in this video. So before I knew it, it was time to line up and try my hand at this race. My race was the last one of the day, the P12. Last year I did this race as a Cat 3 and DNF'd. So I was eager to do my best to at least finish the whole race. The problem was this category is faster than the Cat 3s and the field was absolutely stacked. My coach Tyler Williams was there, Tobin Ortenblad, Gavin Halady, Mike Spikes, Valer Factory Racing, and Alto Bello all had full teams. It was going to be a brutal race. Our race was one hour long, meaning we were going to go over the hill roughly 30 times or so. The hill itself is a pretty short effort, but you have to stay on the power over the top of the hill in order to make sure you don't get dropped. So it really, really starts to add up. So here we go. It was a race time. Right as we started, there was another little downpour of rain. So the first couple laps were a bit interesting. There were some crashes, but I honestly got into a good groove on the course. I sat in, saved my energy the best I could, and was able to float in the pack pretty well in this race. By seven laps in, the road was completely dry, 
and right around then, the race really started to turn up. Mike's Bikes was one-twoing Tyler Lott off the front. Lots of brakes went and got brought back. It was pretty strung out, so it wasn't necessarily easy to sit in, but I did my best. People would attack up the hill so that it really hurt everyone in the field that follows, as it's so steep that you don't really get any draft. And you have to basically match the power of the person in front of you in order to keep up. I'll put my power numbers from the screen of the hill each lap. I'd say it averaged around probably like 950 watts for the climb. So it really started to hurt the legs. However, with seven laps to go, I was able to move myself up after sitting in and set an attack over the top of the hill to see if maybe I could force a move to get away. I was able to get a gap and decided to roll with it. This was a much bigger animation than anything I had done in the year prior in the Cat 3s. I was able to stay away until two laps to go and was able to snag a couple of creams, which was awesome. As I got caught, Coach Tyler attacked over the top and I followed, but we shortly got caught after. I did my best to fight and stay up front for the field sprint, but didn't really have too much gas left. I ended up finishing with the main pack though, which I am honestly over the moon with. Ryan Gorman for Valer Factory Racing was able to take the win and our training buddy Blake Macheris got second, which is an amazing result. I am happy with how I raced and how I flowed around the pack and that was my goal for the race this year. This race definitely scared me a bit after getting dropped last year, so again, I'm hyped to finish and even animated a little bit this year. Okay, so now for the ratings that we talked about. We rate the races we go to this year on five things, the vibe, the course, the field, the promotion, and the accessibility. Here are the scores. Nine for the vibes, nine for the course, six for the field, eight for the promotion, and six for the accessibility. The vibes, man, they were they were absolutely off the charts. <laughs> We've already gone over it, but I mean, the hill is an amazing spectacle for the spectators and fans. This just adds such a dynamic twist compared to a normal four corner crit race. The course scored high as well because, I mean, come on. It's a sweet course with that hill and the screaming downhill, and it also gives all sorts of riders a chance to win because climbers have somewhere they can get away, but it is short enough that big sprinters can usually hang. It really is dynamic and fun. The field was pretty stacked, but nothing crazy for a NorCal race. The promotion was pretty awesome because it's been going on for so many years that it basically promotes itself at this point. The parking is good and they had multiple bathroom spots on the course, so great accessibility. The total rating for Cats Hill is 38. The new highest score for any race this year. I'm curious to see if anything can beat it. I love this race, but also hate it because of how hard it is. I mean, I normalized 400 watt, well, okay, 399 watts for the hour race. Hopefully, good. okay, we're gonna round up to 400. 400 watts for the hour race, so it was definitely a leg burner. All in all though, such a fun event. Congrats to Ryan for defending his title at Cats Hill, and hopefully next year, maybe I can contest it. And thank you all so much for the support on the channel. I really can't believe how this thing is growing, and it really is all because of y'all. If you wouldn't mind subscribing and liking this video, it helps the channel out more than you know. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Welcome to Alyssa's race day vlog. I am walking around Cat's Hill. We are like 30 minutes into the race right now, and this is truly just for EJ and something entertaining for him to find when he's editing. So I love you. You're doing great. Everyone else is doing fantastic. That hill looks awful. Um, keep pushing.